employee sabotage can happen to anyone, at any time, in any workplace. Some people might call this competition. However, this can depend on the specific circumstances surrounding the sabotage. Sometimes, a person will get hired to work for a company just to steal their ideas and take them to expand their own company. This is why a lot of companies are quiet about their specific methods, tools, and overall functioning and inner workings of the company. There are many forms of workplace sabotage that occurs. According to survey, Collision of Technology, Ethics Scene there are several levels of sabotage that could fall into a gray area between pranks and malicious attacks. For example the locking of someone's workstation on the one hand it could be considered a prank from one employee to another, on the other hand it could be seen as a malicious attack stopping productivity of the company's employees. Why do workers intentionally sabotage their workplace? The number one reason found to be the reason why employees try to sabotage their workplace is because they are unhappy with something in their workplace whether it be a supervisor, an unreceived promotion, or disciplinary actions taken against that employee. As workplace resources have evolved over the years so has employee sabotage. No longer is employee sabotage confined to just the stealing of company's physical resources but now it has expanded to the stealing of or destruction of a company's digital resources. According to employees seen as computer saboteurs one way this is happening is by the use of innocent digital devices such as MP3 players, digital cameras, or best to smuggle digital material in or out of the company. When they are smuggling material into the company they are usually bringing in something that would destroy company resources and when they are smuggling something out they are usually stealing company property. Some of the best prevention against employee sabotage is to be aware of how employees are feeling, and good security measures. Both of these articles employee sabotage comes in many sizes and shapes and handle employee sabotage talk about how to detect and prevent employee sabotage. Some good ways to detect sabotage or is by having good security protocols including antivirus programs, firewalls, logging tools, and requiring good security practices like locking workstations. The greatest threat to organizational databases is not an attack from outside hackers. Rather, it is disgruntled or simply dishonest employees. Employee sabotage is a complex and complicated issue. The implications are clear, treat workers right, and they will reward you with the right stuff. All things dealing with employees are somewhat uncertain. Your best hope is to keep business as fair as possible. Perhaps you will not predict every employee bomb that might explode, but you need to identify fuses that are lit and burning fast, 